All right, what's going on? Rich Tamiro here, Rich on Tech, taking a look at the Chromecast with Google TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the uh, latest addition to the Google ecosystem. This is the remote. So I set this up last night and now we're taking a look at exactly how it works. And just uh, let me know if you can hear me because I've got this thing on a tripod and I hope that there is a, <laughs> I hope that there's a way that the microphone is actually seeing me or, or hearing me, I should say. Uh, so anyway, if you're not familiar, this is uh, Google's brand new streaming device. It's called Chromecast with Google TV. And it's a little tiny uh, dongle that plugs into the back of your TV with uh, HDMI. And then you have a remote. And this is kind of what it looks like. I can't really show you the back of my TV because it was tough enough for me to get in there. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions about it, let me know. But I'm going to kind of go through some of the features and what it looks like. But here is the remote control. It's really small. It's a, kind of a tiny little remote. Um, I wish it was a little bit more substantial. It's these, these are the power buttons or the uh, volume buttons on the side. This is kind of, this it doesn't turn, but this is kind of your, you know, how you navigate here. Um, and then you select things there. And this is your assistant button, your back button, home button, uh, a, you know, mute button here. And then you've got YouTube and Netflix. So if you wanna instantly go to one of those, you can. You've got power and also input. And so, you know, it, this does everything. And, um, it's great because if you like the idea of just one remote for everything, it really works. So I've got this, uh, and you can set it up to control your AV receiver, your sound bar, your TV. Uh, they do have a lot of things uh, in there for that. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the interface. So if you have any questions, let me know, but this is uh, the main screen right here is this uh, For You screen. And when you swipe around, it um, you know has a bunch of movies that are here and recommended for you. I don't know how they're finding these recommendations based on stuff you searched maybe on uh, Google or whatever. Um, and then you can go in, you can actually uh, rate these as well. So here's what it looks like here. And you can uh, you know, see that it's on Hulu. It immediately starts playing the, tr the kind of a trailer in the background. You can add it to your watch list and uh, it tells you all the different ways you can watch as well. So you can watch in Hulu, you can watch on Sling TV, Prime Video, and you can buy it on Google for 15. Not sure why you do that when you can watch it on something that you own like Hulu. Uh, and then you can also say watched it, which I did and I like that. And so I will give this a thumbs up and that will help me with future ratings. All right, so there's that. And let's see, you can also go, I haven't actually done this yet, but if you like Gemini Man, it's got other movies that you like, it's got other action movies, sci-fi. And um, let's see, if we select Will Smith, does it show me other Will Smith movies? Yes, it does, look at that. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of take a deep dive into different movies. Um, so Aladdin, you can see what's, again, what's free. So if you look down here, you can see that little, um, it tells you that's 3.99 with that little lock. So that means you gotta pay for that, but then you can see things that you subscribe to, like Sling TV, where you can just watch that for free. Hulu I have, so I can just watch that for free. HBO Max, of course, if I wanna watch Hitch. Um, couldn't do that. Anyway, uh, let's see, what else can we show you about this? So that's really cool. Okay, this is really neat. I didn't see this part, which you can kind of cross-reference the actors in there, that's cool. Um, all right, let's see. So we're still on the, uh, the home screen. So it, it's got this like promoted stuff. I don't know if these are things that Google is programming or what, but, uh, or if they're personalized, I'm not really sure, but it says for you, so maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's there. Okay, now you have your apps. So here's your row of apps. And this is interesting because um, it's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know. Anyway, this is, these are your apps. You've got all the main apps uh, represented here, so. So far, I haven't found an app that it doesn't support except for Apple TV Plus. And uh, otherwise, you've got you know Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, PBS Kids, YouTube, Prime, Sling, HBO Max, Peloton, um, YouTube TV, and there's more. Now, if you don't want this here, you can move these around by pressing and holding, and you can say move, and you can put this, if you like Sling at the front, you can put Sling right there, and boom, you're done. You can continue watching what you were watching. I don't know what these are. Um, and now you can see, this is kind of like bringing the power of Google in here. 
So uh, this is trending on Google, so you can see what people are sort of searching for. A lot of this stuff is Halloween related right now, but it's kind of cool because it, it surfaces things that people are looking for in current time, and you're bound to find something that you probably want to watch on there, which is really neat. Then you have your watch list, and uh, I'll go into more on that in a second, but then you have, you know, you can just keep going down. You have comedies, horror shows, action movies, and if you notice what's going on here, which is kind of the beauty of this system, is that it's not just one service. So this is showing me action movies from across all the different services. So that's Disney+, Plus, that's Hulu, that's Prime, this is a, you know, a movie you have to pay for. Here's a movie on Sling. Here's HBO Max. So that's really cool. And of course, you can see recommended videos on YouTube, which my kids watch a lot of uh, the Minecraft stuff. So that's all their stuff. I got I to gotta change that. Anyway, okay, so that's the for you. Now let's go to the movies. And movies is kind of like a, you know, a less personalized version, I guess. So you've got popular movies, new movies, movies from your watch list, trending, comedies, thrillers, action, horror, fantasy, you know, movies nominated for best animated feature. That's really neat. Um, adventure movies. I mean, if you can't find something to watch, and again, what I like about this is it's across all services. So it's not just promoting one service, which I think differentiates this from a lot of the other um, streaming boxes out there. And by the way, this is uh, 50 bucks. This was only $50, and I actually don't recommend buying this right now because it's gonna be cheaper during the holidays. This is gonna go down to, I would say, minimum $40 and potentially $30. So I paid 50 at Best Buy, but um, I would say wait, and you can probably get this for 40 very soon. Okay, now we go to shows, and exactly the same thing. It's got a bunch of these uh, larger thumbnails for the shows that are trending, or whatever. I don't know how they're promoting these shows. These are just maybe popular shows. Um, and then you can go, oh, there's popular. So you can see what people are watching. And you really have a lot of that Google um, info here, because you know what people are searching for on Google, so that's what they're using, I think, to kind of propagate a lot of these things. And you've got new shows, and then you've got trending on Google. There you go. Comedies, okay. So you got all that. And then you have your apps. So here's your apps. And this is where it gets a little bit weird because this is so new and a lot of people are not using Google TV yet. They've got the big apps represented, right? But then they've got these, uh, you know, it's kind of like this, oh, Peacock did come to it, interesting. So then you've got these random kind of like, like video players and editors. Like these are just super random, like Cody, TV cast. Like, I don't know where these are coming from or how this is, but this is, you know, it gets kind of strange. It gets into like just random Google stuff. Um, but anyway, so you have all that. And then you've got, you know, like I said, you've got a lot of different app options on here. I haven't found a, a major app that I need that's not available. And I'm sure there's some because not everything is on the Google platform right now. But those are the apps. And then we can go into uh, library. It's just stuff that you own. So it's all your movies. Now let's go into Google Assistant because this is really cool. There's two ways of using it. You can just go to this search functionality and it will give you some kind of, uh, you know, suggestion. So if you don't feel like figuring out what to do, you can just use this. And let's just try, um, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do here. So you can do that. Um, let's just try something on our own. What's the weather gonna be like in Tokyo tomorrow? So you can do stuff like that. Tell me a joke. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Oh. <laughs> um, what's your name? My name is the Google Assistant. I like to think of it as a cool nickname. You look like you need a nickname too. Should I give you one? <laughs> Not right now. Okay, so you have that. And then, of course, uh, it gets really powerful with your, with your searches. So show me Halloween movies. Okay, so there, oh, so it did. Uh, okay, so now you've got Halloween movies, which is cool. And then I love this up here. You can narrow down. So maybe you just want free ones. Maybe you want new ones. Maybe you want thrillers. So let's see what the thrillers are. So that's really cool. And this again gets really powerful because you're narrowing down using the power of Google um, or you can say just ones for kids. 
Well, it didn't really understand what I said, but, but there you go. It got uh, family-friendly movies about Halloween, and now we'll narrow down just the free ones. And so now we can see that's on YouTube. I think that kind of messed up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Free Halloween movies. And so there you go. And you can go, if one of these is on one of your services, like Goosebumps 2, you can just click it and uh, says watch now. And again, it shows you the three ways to watch, but you can go into Netflix and it should take you right into Netflix to play. And there it is. So it, it's using what's called a deep link, which means it goes right to that selection. Didn't even have to open up the app and boom, it's there. And that's a really, um, that's a really good thing here. Um, I didn't know if this device lets you cast from your phone. Yes, it does let you cast from your phone because it is a Chromecast at the end of the day. So it will let you, um, it will let you cast from your phone. Uh, and again, there's the remote one more time. So if you want to go directly to Netflix, you can. If you want to go directly to YouTube, you can. Um, let's see, what else? Let me show you, uh, let me just, let me go into some of the settings here. I'm just going to Make sure that there's, uh, oh yeah, that's one of the big things. Okay, so that's one of the big things. You can go into your settings here, and uh, this is my favorite part. You can, uh, when it's not in use, it's showing a screensaver of your pictures in Google Photos. And that is, to me, the, the thing that's most worth this device because, now this will happen automatically after a couple minutes of non-use, but you can also trigger it by um, tapping there, and boom, it shows you know your slideshow of your, um, of your pictures. Now, Rich uh, Greenspan says, uh, do you like it for iOS users? I think it'd be good for iOS users. I mean, obviously the Apple TV is gonna be a better, um, a better fit for iOS, but I use an iPhone and this is, to me, this is better than, in some ways it's better than Apple TV. Now, I, don't, I think Apple TV is a little bit faster, it's a little slicker, I think the apps are a little bit better, but this is, I think, really nice. And by the way, you can switch to the next uh, pictures if you just, um, tap to the right and it will bring you to the next picture in your thing. So anyway, you're going to see a nice slideshow of all of your um, pictures, which I think to me is something that was always lacking on my Apple TV. They have beautiful screensavers, but they weren't my pictures. Now I get to see my pictures when my TV's not in use and I love that. Yeah, and it shows the time and optionally the weather as well. So that's really cool. All right, let me know if you have any more questions before I uh, head out of here. But oh, let me just show you the watch list feature. So this is really cool because the watch list lets you make a watch list from Google. So if you search a movie on Google, you can, um, you know, it says add to your watch list. And so once you add it to your watch list on Google, it's linked up right here on this TV. And then you can go in here and you can see all the ways to watch it. So it says Netflix, you can watch right now or you can watch on Sling, or you can buy it, or rent it for $3.99, or buy it for, for, three nine, or for 10 bucks. But you know, again, you can just do that. Um, now here's one that you're gonna run into. So you've got Greyhound, which um, you know, is on Apple TV, and boom, you're not gonna be able to watch it on here. So that's the only major app I've found so far that's not available, is the Apple TV app. You're not gonna get that one. So uh, if I wanna watch Greyhound, I gotta watch it on my iPhone or my iPad, because my Apple TV is no longer, I'm, I'm sticking to this one for now. But again, it's just really cool that it's, uh, it's so easy, it's clean looking, it's, now how would you watch this right now? Would I press the back button maybe? No, like so I see that starts in the background, but what do I do? I'm not really sure how to like see this because it's playing, but I can't really see. But I just think the, the um, the depth of information and the way that things are cross-referenced are really cool. Having the Google Assistant is really cool because you can do, you know, you can just do almost anything you could ask Google Assistant on your phone, you can ask here. And um, that's really neat too. And, you know, you have all your apps represented. So you've got your Sling, your Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, PBS Kids. I think I went through that already. But I just find that this is a really nice simple way to stream stuff and take advantage of the apps that you have. And there are also free apps as well. So, I mean, if you go into like entertainment, there's, you know, you've got Disney Plus, Peacock is free. You've got um, Tubi is totally free. You've got Pluto TV, that's free. You've got, I don't know, whatever that is, Zumo. I've not heard of that one, but that's free. Crunchyroll, I think, does some free stuff. Um, 
Freeform, ironically, I don't think is free. <laughs> Yeah, you, well, that doesn't really work. You got Philo, you got Crackle is free. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, old movies. This cracks me up. Is this, that's funny that it just says old movies. Let's see. Is this from like Fox or what? Um, I don't know if that's real or not. Maybe it is. I think it is. Anyway, so, I mean, you've got a lot of stuff on there. So this is what it looks like. It's, um, you know, I wish it was maybe a little bit, it, it's pretty snappy. I don't think it's as fast as some of the other um, higher powered streamers out there, but it's great. And so the Nest app, I would show you, but it's not working. I can't get it to work just yet. So theoretically, this does show your Nest cameras and um, it does work. So you can just say, show me my, you know, you can say to Google Assistant, show me my Nest cameras. I've not gotten that feature to work just yet. So I need to figure out what's going on there. Um, any other things you wanna see on here before I go? Oh yeah, I was gonna show you some of the settings. Let me just go into um, real quick here my settings and I just wanna make sure I'm not showing like any sort of personal info here. Um, okay, so here's some of the settings, but uh, you've got your accounts and sign-in, you've got privacy, display and sound, you've got apps, system, um, remote control. So here's the um, remote control thing I was telling you about. So you can uh, set up all your different uh, remote control buttons. So I've got my TV on there. You can add a receiver, sound bar, whatever. And then you can customize exactly what the buttons on the remote do. And uh, they've given you a lot, of, um, a lot of options here. So again, that's it. I mean, that's pretty much the entire system. This is uh, again, the Chromecast with Google TV. And um, I, I really like this so far. It took me a little bit to get it uh, to work with my sound bar, but I think it's working so far but it, it looks good, it's 4K, and I think that the organization is really good. There's not a lot of advertising on here. Maybe that'll come later, but um, it just seems to work. It's really just slick, and it just looks nice, and so I kinda just like the idea that it just, um, it just works really nicely. And oh, I guess it does podcasts as well, which is kinda cool. So there's just a lot of things on here, and you can, you know, it gives you some ideas on what to watch. I don't know, I just think it's a really, I've, I've played with all the different um, Fire TV stick and the Roku and the Apple TV, and I think that they all have their pros and cons, but I think that this one is a very, for the price of $50, if not cheaper, I think that this one offers a lot for the price, and it's just very, it's very clean, clean and simple. And this watch list feature, I think, is, is really, really key, because I know that Apple TV has a watch list, but the fact that you can just make a watch list of things on your phone, whether it's Android or iPhone, in, and see it on your TV screen, it's just really nice. And to see where things are playing is just, um, you know, is just really, really cool. So um, that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, Rich Tamiro here, Rich on Tech. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that like button, whatever you do to tell people about this stuff. But uh, if you have any more questions after you watch this, leave them in the comments. I'll take a look at the comments uh, from uh, time to time and answer anything. All right. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.